Hello friends, welcome back to channel. Today is 3rd of July 2021 and in this video we are going to see the important current affairs from 3rd of July 2021. Our first question is which of the following day is celebrated as National Postal Workers Day? Answer is option number 3, 1st July. Every year 1st July is celebrated as National Postal Workers Day. It is celebrated to show appreciation for the postal workers hard work that they put into deliver our mail and deliveries on time. It was first celebrated in 1997. It was first celebrated in 1997. So answer will be option number 3, 1st July. Next, Donald Rumsfeld has recently died at the age of 88. He was the former defense minister of Dash. And so is option number one, America. Look at the image. This was Donald Rumsfeld. He was an American politician, government official and businessman who served as the defense minister of America from 1975 to 1977 and he has recently died at the age of 88. So answer will be option number one, America. Next, who among the following has been recently appointed as the new voice chief of Indian Air Force? Answer is option number one, Vivek Ram Choudhury. Look at image. This is Vivek Ram Choudhury, an officer in the Indian Air Force and he has been recently appointed as the 45th 45th voice chief of indian air force succeeding air marshal harjit singh arora who retired on 30 13th of june 2021 so answer will be option number one vivek ram Choudhury. and indian air force it was established or formed on 8th of october 1932 its headquarter is in new delhi and currently chief of the air staff is rk singh Badoria. next india has ranked dash in the global startup ecosystem index 2020 and so is option number 320. This index called Global Startup Ecosystem Index 2021 has been released by the Startup Blink. Has been released by the Startup Blink. Startup Blink is the world's most comprehensive startup ecosystem map and research center working to uncover the momentum of startup ecosystem globally and to support their growth. And this startup Blink has recently released the Global Startup Ecosystem Index 2021 which ranks countries and cities depending on the startup environment and in country wise ranking India has ranked 20th India has ranked 20th out of 100 countries in the world and the United States of America has topped the ranking followed by UK followed by UK followed by UK and Israel at the second and third numbers at the second and third number so answer will be option number 3 20th next name the application or app launched by the government of india to provide farmers with actionable agricultural insights and early weather alerts answer is option number option number two atmanirbhar krishi application or app Recently, the government of India has launched Atmanirbhar Krishi app to provide farmers with actionable agricultural insights and early weather alerts. The wealth of information relevant to farmers curated by various government departments on the national digital platform Kisan Mitra is now being made available through the Atmanirbhar Krishi app in manner comprehensible to them and this application in Android and Windows version, versions is available in 12 languages for free of cost for farmers, startups, Krishi Vegan Kendras, self help groups, and NGOs. So, answer will be option number two. Next, who among the following has been recently appointed as the DG or Director General of All India Radio? Answer is option number one, Yan Venudar Reddy. This is Yan Venudar Reddy and IIS, that is Indian Information Service Officer, IIS officer from 1988 batch and recently he has been appointed as the DG or Director General of All India Radio. What is All India Radio? All India Radio, officially known as Akashwani since 19. 1957 is the national public radio broadcaster of India and is a division of Prasar Bharti. It was established in 1936. It is the sister service of Prasar Bharti's Doodarshan, an Indian television broadcaster headquartered in the Akashwani Bhavan building in New Delhi. And All India Radio is the largest radio network in the world and one of the largest broadcasting organizations in the world in terms of the number of languages broadcast and the spectrum of Socio economic and cultural diversity it serves. So, answer will be option number one Yan Venudhar Reddy. Next, Government of India has announced the relief package of worth dash crore against COVID 19. Answer is option number one 6 crore, 28 lakhs, and 993 crore. Recently, the Government of India recently the government of India has announced stimulus package of rupees 6 crore, 28 lakhs, and 993 crore rupees to boost economy during the fight against COVID 19 pandemic. 
as announced by the prime minister narendra modi the measures announced will help small entrepreneurs and self employed persons to sustain their business activities and expand them further so answer will be option number 1 Prime Minister Stephen Lofen has recently has recently resigned has recently resigned following no confidence vote he belongs to which country and sir is option number 4 Sweden look at it this was Stephen Lofen and he was the prime minister of Sweden and he has recently resigned after losing no confidence vote in the parliament with a majority of parliament members backing his departure Lofen or Stephen Lofen has become the first prime minister in Sweden history to be ousted by a no confidence motion put forward by the opposition so answer is sweden sweden look at map this is sweden its capital is stockholm up to now pm was stephen lufven and currency is swedish krona next mukul goel has recently appointed as the dgp or director general of police of which state and sir is option number 1 uttar pradesh mukul goel mukul goel is the ips is the ips officer from 1987 batch and he is currently posted as the additional dg operations in the border security force and he recently has been appointed as the new dgp or new director general of police of up so answer will be option number first uttar pradesh uttar pradesh this is uttar pradesh its capital is lucknow governor is anandiben patel cm is yogi adityanath it is the fourth state by area in india and first by population in india it borders with uttarakhand himachal pradesh haryana delhi rajasthan madhya pradesh chatisgarh bihar jharkhand and nepal and ganga yamuna betwa ken chambal ghagra gomati sonar the main rivers of uttar pradesh now we will quickly revise the questions of our last video our first question was sbi yes, or state bank of india has recently celebrated its dash found Foundation Day on 1st of July 2021. Answer is option number 366. What is India's rank in the Global Cyber Security Index 2020, which has been recently released by ITU? ITU. Answer is option number 210. Which of the following country has been recently declared as malaria free by WHO World Health Organization and sir is option number 4 China which of the following day is celebrated as National Doctors Day in India annually and sir is option number 3 1st July who among the following is the CEO of Niti Aayog and sir is option number 3 Amitabh Kant Abhimanyu Mishra who is seen in news recently is associated with which of the following sports and sir is option number 4 chess which of the following state government has recently launched an education loan scheme name students credit card for students aiming for higher studies and sir is option number 2 west bengal yes ascm is a scheme related to which of the state or union territory and sir is option number 3 jammu kashmir digital india a flagship campaign of government of india was launched in dash it was launched in 2015 so answer will be option number 2 and last question was which of the following day is celebrated as national chartered accountants day in india and sir is option number 3 1st july these were the questions asked in our last video now answer of the question which was asked to you in the last video question was ibrahim raisi has recently won the presidential election of dash and sir is option number 3 iran recently uh, ibrahim raisi has won the presidential election of iran now today's question question is name the new operating system which has been recently recently launched by microsoft options are windows max windows exe windows 10 pro and windows 11 if you know answer of this question you can write it in the comment section below or we will discuss this question in the next video